Hi everyone, in this video, we'll talk about the function import HTML. This function belongs to the import family of uh, functions in Google Sheets. Uh, you can use it to web scrape some websites. Uh, just a disclaimer before I move ahead, not all websites will be scrapable, uh, but I'll try my best to show you an example that you can relate with and maybe even use it for your personal tools. Um, as you might have seen from my previous videos, I'm a big uh, stock analyzer and I like to do some personal analysis on Google Sheets since Google Finance is a big part of my skills arsenal. And I'll be incorporating import HTML on a website called screener.in, which using which I'll be importing tables from that uh, website for my fundamental analysis like sales, earnings per share, etc. So before we even begin with import HTML, right, first you need to know how does this function work. So what are the inputs required in the function? The best way to learn a function on Google Sheets is to type it out, see the documentation, and then learn to do the same, right? So we know we'll have to go to a website called skinner.in, but what do will we enter in the formula? So we'll type import, we'll get import.html, and you see there are four inputs to it, URL, query, index, and locale. And if we do a drop down here, we'll see the example of an import HTML function, how Google Sheets recommends we apply it. So you first type a, the URL or copy paste the URL in double quotes. You'll mention whether it is a list or a table, depending upon the structure of the website. So on the HTML code, when you look into the code, it will either be a list or a table. For our video purposes, for our analysis purposes, it will be a table. So you don't need to worry about that. And then the index, let's say a web page has 10 tables. There will be an index of tables, right? You want table one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, any amount of tables, right? So you will need to specify that number. Locale is basically just a language or region that you will use. I'll keep it unspecified because uh, whatever website we'll be referring to will be in English. So we don't need to refer any region or language uh, code to, mo to modify it to our terms right? So you'll do that. Now, if this amount of information is enough for you in import HTML, very good, you're good to go. But if you want more information about the import HTML function, you can click on these learn more, apologies, and a new tab opens up that you can look into for the sample usage, syntax, and everything, right? So now that we have explored import HTML function, we know the inputs. I'll remove this and I'll reset it. Now we should explore the website screener.in before we get the link that we want to scrape from, right? So here we are now on screener.in. It is a beautiful website, really helpful to analyze uh, stocks, certain sectors for your investable opportunities, right? So this is the homepage of screener.in. Just to make sure it's accessible to everyone, I haven't logged in into this website. This is a completely free website. You can just type screener.in and you'll be able to access it. Now, uh, I'll just type the name of a stock, let's say ITC. I'll click on that and a web page opens up which gives me information for ITC. And you'll see there is a lot of information here. Market cap, PE, its pure comparison, quarterly results, profit loss, etc. And balance sheet, cash flows as well. All of these things, balance sheet, cash flows, profit loss, quarterly results, they are all in a table. I won't go into the details how I know that. You can just right click here, go to inspect and see the HTML code beyond it. It will have a table tag with it. And I know since it's a table and I'll apply it while uh, you know showing you how I can get this result in a Google Sheet and you won't have to go into the website at all. So once we have explored screener, just go through it, what you want, copy paste, uh, you know, the URL at a safe place, and then we can begin our work back into Google Sheets. So now we are back into Google Sheets and we'll cover the last question before we begin our practical tutorial on it. So the last question is how to know which table is the one we want to extract. Now, this is a trial and error method as per my knowledge, full disclosure. If you guys know a better method, feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to learn and explain it on the channel moving ahead as well. Despite this being a trial and error method, I think the good news is that table numbers are consistent across the website. So let's say if you look for a 
ticker name called ITC or an SBI in or uh, an Apple or a Nestle or an Asian Paints, if you put a table number two, it will be the same table across all the tickers that you want to scrape the information for. So just like here, I give an example. If table two has been used for an income statement or a cash flow table across all tickers, it will be consistent so that you can try to automate a process based on what you want. Since the tables are consistent as a Google Sheets user, as an analyst or as an analytical mindset, we should be able to use that to our advantage and create custom sheets that help us with our analysis. Not all persons are built like to like. Some people like certain modifications in their tools. Some people like some custom dashboards. This functionality, import HTML, will help you create something really, really beautiful that I'll show you at the end of this video, right? And if you see, I have a tab called personal tool that will really help. Now, moving ahead, let's start scraping screener.in. I'll reset the zoom to 100% so that uh, you can see it. You can see the table nicely. So we have a couple of screeners. We have a couple of links that we can copy paste from. So let's take the screen for ITC, right? And I'll use the import html i'll place this link into it comma query is i want a table and let's say i want a table number one right let's see what does it give me so the table one is quarterly sales that's why i'm getting this oops the formatting is a bit weird let me just copy paste the same formatting on the left hand side okay so for this link, screener.in slash company slash ITC slash consolidated, this is the quarterly sales. Let's see what's table number two. Table number two is yearly income statement, right? I'm just trying to show you that whatever it is there on screener.in website, we can have it in Google Sheets just by taking one command of import HTML. So now you can see this is the balance sheet that we have. Sheet. Now we move to number eight. This is the cash flow operation statement. And number nine, I think we are reaching the end of it. So there are around nine to 10 tables. Yeah, this is the inventory tables, which is the ROC numbers. That's it, right? And you can keep exploring. I don't know how many tables are there, but for me, only a couple of tables make sense, right? This is the uh, the investors table, like how what is the share of FIS, DII, so you can build your, you know, if FIS share is increasing or decreasing. You can do the same. Notice one thing. Even after you explore multiple things, I'll go to table number two because that's my favorite. It shows me yearly numbers. So this gives me year on year sales. I can see year on year sales growth as well. But you see, there is a lot of data in this table, right? But it is only for ITC. What if you want it for something else? Let's say an SBI. What you can do is in place of the link, you can just give this cell, right? And if you change the uh, quotation in the cell, to let's say SBIN, your table will change for SBIN, right? So in a way, you can automate the year on year sales table that can help you, right? I'll change the format to this as well. In a way, you can automate this, right? And why do I need to give a cell which has the whole link? Well, why can't I just give a cell which has SBIN or ITC, right? What I'll just do it here. I'll just take the link that I have, copy in double quotations. I'll put this after company, I'll end the double quotations. I'll put an and, and then I'll put a C3 and and again, and double quotations will be improved. And then I have it this. Now it won't work because there's a link pasted here. But let's say if you type SBIN, boom, you have results for SBIN. You type ITC you have results for ITC, right? And you can keep typing 
different different stickers you'll get the year on year sales for itc or sbi and if you want quarter over quarter sales just switch it to a table number 1 and you'll get quarter over quarter sales for itc sbi n right that's it you get the numbers that are available on the sino website another caveat where you will notice that this won't work for something for like a nestle in and there's a reason for that the reason for nestle in data not working in the google sheets is that if you see at the url it doesn't say the word consolidated at the end and if you look at a function a function clearly states that the link has to be a uh, a uh, forward slash consolidated in front of it so for tickers where the link is in a different way it won't work as of now up until this date of me recording i have only seen two types of links on screeno.in one which has a forward slash consolidated in front of the ticker symbol and one that doesn't have the word consolidated in front of it so how can we use this to our advantage when analyzing companies where the link is not of that nature we go back to the google sheets I'll zoom it a bit so that it's easy. It's a bit easier to see. Here we can just remove this word consolidated, and this should work now. Boom! Now we have the word for Nestle and everything else, right? So this gives me an idea, an idea that there are two types of links. If the if consolidated doesn't give me any data, then let's go for standalone, or I should have. an option to look into either standalone or consolidated right so what we can do here is i'll insert a row above and i'll put a data validation here i'll first copy paste this and i'll add a data validation let's look into data validation i'll add a rule option 1 is consolidated option 2 is stand alone and i don't want any option 3 i'll just keep both of them as screen and boom so consolidated and i can see that now i know that when it was a normal link right it was and double quotes forward consolidated so now nestle in won't really work i'll do this a bit of center aligned but for itc this was working right so if i have a nestle end nestle end i should just be able to toggle this to stand alone and the number should change so how do we do that simple we just wrap it in an if statement if cell c4 is equal to consolidated we look for import stream of this function else we look for where consolidated is not present and we close the statement so when we click on stand alone i get that right and if it's consolidated is my default i am not getting anything so i'll just switch to stand alone and the numbers are there right and you can do this for now any ticker now basically this sheet that you have in front of your eyes you can just type any ticker like recently i saw a company called apple cool i can look into the stand alone numbers great i have it i saw a company called morkan lab i can look for them right and slowly slowly when you get a hang of it you can even transpose this table do some fancy analyses and you know see how their sales numbers are going of course this is a quarterly report you can change the table number 2 to have an yearly sales generated report and once you get a hang of it once you understand what you want to look for example i look for sales growth and eps growth i have both those metrics here in row number 7 and in row number 17 so using these two things and this data validation and the knowledge of the links that we have on the screen of website I've just created a personal tool that looks something like this. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see it on your screen. I just type in the ticker, like I I just showed you Apple, right? I just type Apple, right? And I get the 
year over year sales performance i have linked a graph with it and i get a quarter on quarter sales performance so i analyze okay the quarter over quarter growth is 27% in terms of sales and year over year and the eps growth is 24% so i look that it's a healthy fundamental company and similarly i use a lot of other functions as well these functions are not import html these are import xml i'll cover that in a different video i'll add a link to the description once that's uploaded so subscribe for that and yeah once you get good with web scraping skinner.in import html will help you create personalized customized tool that you can use for your fundamental analysis i hope you like this video i hope you check out more content on the channel and i'll see you in the next one cheers